Welcome. In front of me is a Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus, and today I will show you how to enable and set up the Do Not Disturb mode. Now to get started, you want to find the toggle somewhere in here. So for me, it's on the second page, as you can see right over here. And when you find it, all you need to do is hold it. This will take us to the settings where we can customize a couple settings in the exceptions category. So we have calls, messages, and conversations, which we can uh, set uh, what we can receive during the do not disturb mode. So we have calls, uh, calls messages, I have the same option. So all contacts, favorites, and none. And the only difference between calls and messages is this tiny little toggle right here. So repeated colors, allow colors when they are uh, received from the same phone number more than once uh, within 15 minutes. And this is a decent option for emergencies when someone uh, when someone really wants to get a hold of you, they will probably spam call you. And when you enable this, it will completely bypass this option. So even though there's, uh, it's right now set to none, uh, if someone calls you twice, uh, they will basically be able to reach you no matter what the setting above is. Now messages, like I said, has the same options. And then conversations has only all priority and none. Then if we leave, we have alarm sounds, uh, media sounds, touch sounds, basically all kinds of sounds. If you want some of them, you do not disturb mode, check them on. If you don't, disable them. And then apps, um, this will all allow you to select, I believe, which apps can give you notifications um, while the do not disturb mode is enabled. And then we have also hide notifications. And one last thing that I'll mention, it's the uh, schedule option. So you can add a new schedule, use the existing one. The existing one is set for sleeping every single day of the week from 10 till 7 a.m. But you can select your own, for instance, uh, for a work schedule, and you would simply select a start time, end time, and each day of the week that you want it to turn on, and then make sure that it's checked on here. And then your device will automatically turn it on at the given time and day of the week and run for as long as it is set for. And lastly, as the for how long option. So this is uh, option for basically whenever you click on this, as you can see right now, it does nothing, right? It automatically enables it. But if we go back here and select, for instance, ask every time instead of until turn off, and I check it on, it will bring up this window giving me the two options. So until I turn off or for a given amount of hours, which I can increase uh, at will which is a nice uh, option for like a quick access. But like I said, once you have set up all these settings, you can simply leave it and toggle it on and off whenever you need it by simply tapping on toggle and checking on turn on if you have chosen to do the same thing as I did here. So that is how you would set it up. And if you found it very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.